Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Robert, here. And this has been a crazy, crazy week for sim racing and sim racing YouTubers of all kinds. Mike from Sim Racing 604, as you may or may not know, has had the Sim Dream community come after him um, after making a video pointing out them stealing content from big brands such as Forza, Codemasters, and other things like that, repackaging the content and selling it to others for a profit. Now, in my opinion, I genuinely hate getting into any drama whatsoever, but this just seems like something where you just have to say something. You gotta support the people who are doing the same thing as you, and if you don't, you just seem kind of scummy or at least to me you do and to sum up the whole situation it's like a child making an excuse for them smacking someone and doing it again and again and again and again and thinking they're gonna get away with it and once they get pointed out they cry and tell on them which doesn't make any sense when i say it like that because I'm an idiot, but I'm sure you know what I'm, tr I'm trying to say. Um, with everything that is going on with this, I didn't want to make it a super scripted and polished video. I want it to be more raw, be completely open and about it, and try and state as much as I can without cutting. And just make it so it doesn't seem fabricated because to be completely honest with you i have never heard of sim dream development um i've never seen anything of theirs which most likely means it's not very good um and if you don't know who they are they do mods for a set of corso and like i said they steal it from other companies big companies not little companies either and then they sell it for a profit and as you've most likely heard, Mike from Sim Racing 604 decided to make a video on them, and it was taken down. It was copyright striked. Um, and if you don't know, you have to have a valid reason for a video to be taken down, and they took it down for an illegitimate reason, which breaks uh, YouTube's code of conduct, and that's a big no-no. Along with them doing all these shady things, they just seem like a shady company in general. I'll show a screenshot of their website right here. It doesn't look very professional. And you can also even commission your own mods, which obviously means they're going to try and either make some crappy one and sell it to you for cheap or expensive prices, which doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And... <sighs> This is just so screwed. I don't know how to explain it. As someone who has been screwed over in the past like this, with old channels, I genuinely sympathize with this person, especially if it's your job. That's just a whole other level of scummy. Especially when you put into consideration that you didn't do it for a legitimate reason whatsoever. And I'm sorry for rambling on for so long, but it genuinely bothers me, like, not even on a professional level, but on a personal level, that someone or a company or a group of people would even think that this is relatively okay to put someone else's livelihood in jeopardy for your crappily made mods that you do most likely as a hobby. And if it's your career, I'm sorry, that's illegal. That's like, you don't have a job, technically. You're just doing crimes every day every day all day every day and i know my channel is small this video won't be big and if it is you know that's a good thing for me but i just really needed to share my opinion with this i mean this is just a really screwed up situation in general for everyone involved and mike's channel is in jeopardy since he's had videos being taken down for other reasons and now this one, his channel could be taken down. But, um, on the time of recording, about 30, an hour ago, 
his channel was said to be completely okay from what i'm hearing and i don't believe it's in jeopardy anymore um if i'm wrong you can tell me in the comments below but i do believe that he's going to be fine with his channel but for him to even have to worry about that because your scummy quote unquote company decided it'd be a good idea to make mods and then getting mad when someone calls you out for doing that it's just a whole nother level i can't even express how crappy that is and yeah it's just i don't understand i can't put it into words how much that bothers me and it's not even me i mean everybody i'm going to be putting a link down below for mike's channel i want you if you're watching this to go subscribe to him he makes awesome content and he's been doing it for a very long time he's very professional about it and he's genuinely just a great guy from what i've seen in videos i've never talked to him personally but mm, videos show people a little bit fake but even if it, it's not his real personality it's still a great channel so you guys definitely should go check that out and support him in any way that you can with everything that's been going on he doesn't deserve any of this and hopefully we can get sim dream taken down i've already reported their website um, I'll be leaving a link down below as well to them for you to go report them for scamming and or malicious content or whatever it is called. I forget exactly what it is. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry for how low quality the video is, um, commentary wise. I just needed to say something about it. I know it's late for me to say anything but I, I felt as if i needed to say something i couldn't sit here and just not say or do anything about it or even express my opinion or show that i care for the community because this is genuinely a great community i love it and i hope everything turns out okay with mike if it hasn't and you guys can show support as well because he puts in a lot of effort for videos and for him to be shamed down like this by a shitty company that's screwed and i know i keep saying the same thing but i mean it's just not right and for them to be doing this um and for people to be on twitter out crying hey we need to get these people taken down and nothing happening that's probably even worse because <laughs> It's like someone doing a crime and not being punished. And Codemasters or someone along those lines has been taking action, I believe. After people um, spamming, adding Forza and all these other people that they've been stealing the car models of and physics of and putting it on their website for profits. Um, they have finally responded, I believe. And that is just wonderful. Hopefully we can get these people out of this community because this is just such a wholesome place most of the time, if not all the time, with wonderful people and wonderful drivers everywhere that we don't need trash like that polluting it. So if possible, like I said, guys, I'll be leaving links down below to Mike's channel so you guys can subscribe to him and the Sim Dream Development website down below so you guys can go and report them um i just want to say a few last things once again report them and subscribe to mike go watch his videos like them get him popularity he doesn't deserve anything that's happening right now and if possible if you're on twitter instagram facebook doesn't matter what it is Go to these big companies and say something at them or P don't PM them. That's not right. Um, at them or retweet or resend the messages that people have already been sending and get the word out that these people need to be taken down and that they don't need to be anywhere near us. And if anything, legal action should probably be taken, um, if I'm correct. I don't know much about law, but I believe that it's a crime to take other people's art or work like that especially a company's in a video game with a licensed product so them doing that with no repercussions would be horrible and i'm sure they will have repercussions and if they don't keep 
at it. Keep saying something. Get these people out of here. We don't need them here. No one needs them here. They're horrible. And just overall scummy. But yeah. Um, I'll be leaving a few links to the um, video sources that I've seen from where I've gotten all my information from. Um, their videos are 10 times better than this one. And uh, they're pretty big channels too. So you probably most definitely have seen them if you're watching this video as well. And um, if you guys have any suggestions for an another video, um, definitely leave them down below. I would love to hear them. And yeah, have a great night day wherever the hell you are whatever hell time it is and